Hello and welcome to Life is Magical podcast. I'm your host Sri Manju Katrakada, intuitive healer, Akashic records reader, Hay House author of Connect Your Inner Guide book. And who believes in experiencing healing and life is magical. Through this show I'll be sharing my toolbox which is full of life hacks, tips for rainy days, ways to hold our connections with the inner guide and much more fun things let us begin this journey hi beautiful souls welcome to another podcast with life is magical hope you're all doing good and enjoying those sunny days wherever you are and hope the weather in your heart is good and today's topic is and just for today trust yourself that's the main thing so trusting is a big part of our waking up and in our journeys so i just wanted to share some insights on it and uh, share my own experiences where it all began and the tools and techniques that i have brought in with me and i have recognized and used and uh, checked out so i'm ready to share that topic with you guys and some parts of it are from my connect your inner guide book and if you haven't got a copy maybe you can check it on amazon or on my website which is in the below show notes so thank you guys for being here and listening to this and uh, it is ro- it'll going to be some uh deep stories and uh some parts of my journey i'm going to share here so do listen till the end and uh let me know how you find this um episode and uh, please 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 uh, i would ask you to leave a a review or share with your tribe and uh, spread the word if you're enjoying these podcasts because i'm loving it i'm enjoying it and thinking about like what to bring on to the next one and if you got a topic or if you like me to share something please let me know you can email me and message me all the information is going to be ba- at the bottom so thank you guys so just for today trusting yourself and how wonderful is that just to think about like whatever i'm going to do today i'm going to trust myself and say yes to everything that going to come into my life rather than say no or give excuses of the fear or uh, resentments or the limiting beliefs because so far we have done that but just for today i'm going to say yes to everything have you watched that movie yes day it's fantastic it's exactly what it is like you know um trusting and saying yes and going along and tagging along uh, as the day is evolving and having fun and um a lot of surprises some things that we didn't realize that we could have fun some things that we were discomfortable with uh we realize like oh now we changed we moved along and we are having fun we are okay with it you know so just for today set that mantra up in your mind you're going to trust yourself so around like 20 years ago exact to this year i got married and uh, yeah we are going to celebrate our 20th anniversary soon and um when i got married uh, we moved to ireland so it was only like 24 days or something like that that um i was leaving my country continent and moving with this person in my life whom i barely knew and going to spend my rest of the life with him and i to be frank i didn't even know where that country was on the map at the time the map we had didn't show ireland and when i asked him where exactly is it is it even existing or are you making up any stories and he said it's right near london so i just trusted him <laughs> it is where it is and uh, so yeah i moved to ireland and i still remember it was september when i moved and it was cold it was windy right before the 911 event and uh, yeah that memory can never fade off um i was like oh my god where did i land like such a cold country it took me a couple of years to settle in absorb and uh, actually accept the country people have been so nice so amazing i still miss them 
It's been two and a half years being in Seattle, but I so, so miss um, Ireland. I call it my home country now because that's where I started my adult life. I have my children there. So it's very special at this stage. But coming back to trusting, I didn't know what my gut was saying, but all I felt was it's good to go with the flow. It's good is coming in. So let me be saying yes for it. And so that's how I went. But deep down, I knew we were meant to be together and this was the right top decision to be taken in. Yeah. And later on, after my spiritual awakening, I was at a Caroline Miss workshop and where she was talking about her journey, about uh, her grandparents, when they were moving from Poland to US, all they had was a ray of hope and all that ray of hope meant like they can have a new beginnings after the war and have a new settlement, uh, start from the very zero and that's all they carried in and came in a boat and they didn't even know if the boat will make to the end journey. And when she said that, uh, it, it just caught on to me like that is the ray of light and the hope that I came to this new country uh, having that faith and a trust in the person, in the relationship, in the universe. That's the biggest thing. Like, you know, it came in and no other fear. Nothing else is going to bring me down. So now if anything else is more fearful, I always think in my mind, I cross the biggest one at the age of 21 and nothing else is more fearful than what I have crossed over. So yeah, that was a, on a brighter side. But later on, I lived life um, <clears throat> having the fearful times or not trusting myself or not listening to my intuition or didn't focus much about all these things and lived uh, much until like uh, my spiritual awakening started. And that's where I started re-looking and uh, re-checking with me. What is this whole trust about? Like, you know, did I ever trust myself or what are the things that I did trusting myself? And um, when I started refocusing, I, then I felt this was the biggest thing that I did. Like, you know, trusting um, for one of the major things in my life. And um, what I realized was just for a change, when you trust your intuition and yourself, you need to be open to see the possibilities and to see what will happen out of A. Because right now, if you are in a problem, in a situation where you are thinking about like, hey, what can I do? Um, so far, you have been doing what you were doing normally, uh, not taking that leap of faith or say, but now just for a change. What if you trust and follow your uh, intuition and see what happens? Maybe some things will change. Maybe things will unreveal or lead you to your destination in much better way. Like, you know, but unless you take that leap of faith, trusting yourself, you're not going to know, is that what's going to happen? Or is that how it is supposed to be? Like, you know, um, it's easier, especially when we do this work, when we are less emotionally attached to the consequences, do by the small steps like, you know, rather than jumping in for a relationship like I did or uh, um, moving the country again or uh, things that are having a low impact. Say you're going to work with the same uh, route. Uh, maybe today your gut is saying, hey, take a different route. Go for it. Don't take the freeway. Go for a different route that you're being called into and see what happens. Maybe something will trigger up to let your intention or not intention uh, to let your attention into the nature maybe or you might see a deer uh, on your path like you know so there could be something magical that you can bring forward uh, your attention to. So just for today, if something is calling you to do differently that you have been doing, give it a chance. Just give it a chance and um, see what happens. So this, by doing these uh, mini things, you are going to build up onto the bigger ones or the ones that you are mentally, emotionally attached to them. Like, you know, it will be much easier. 
And trust is something that keeps us going forward. But isn't it amazing how we have programmed our minds to always trust someone else and not ourselves, right? Um, you might be happier to trust uh, your family, your friends, or your children even. But when it comes to trusting your own uh, thoughts, uh, you haven't done that before or nobody told you to do that, like, you know, or um, taking responsibility for it. But now is the time. Trust yourself. Rather than blaming others for being who you are today, trust yourself. Take that uh, control back to yourself and do the things uh, what ignites you. And you will notice that you are never going to be the same person again. And this is a new change, new vibes that you're going to bring into your life. Yeah. But I have to tell you, there is going to be a fear. Always that fear is going to be there. It's about how you bring that fear into your life. Make it as your friend. And fear comes only when there is a shift, change, or uh, moving you forward. Make it as your friend. And replace that uh, fear with trusting. Trusting for yourself in the universe that there is something brighter and the best things are going to happen for you. And this also helps us exploring the gifts of who we truly are. I totally believe that the reason we are here and the things that we can do, we haven't even been doing even 10% of it. There is a lot more potential that we hold back just because we are afraid or we don't know the consequences and we don't take that um, a leap of faith or even the first step towards that life yeah so just for today exploring the gift of who you truly are is something that you can sit and think about it and sometimes we just live life for others as per their needs beliefs comforts like you know and then you forget who you really are because on the way you have been diluting yourself and you're not yourself uh, at all like yeah you're a pure soul until the age of like four to six I think it's even decreasing with so much happening around even for children and then you change as per the society as per the family everyone else and you forget who you really are and when I ask my clients like you know what as a child did you enjoy most some of them do struggle to remember recollect what did they even enjoy as a child were they playing with the dolls or the way they're playing with the stones, uh, they do forget that memory becomes so vague. And also we close it up like, you know, because your soul wasn't getting much of it and it's only was uh, giving you more pain. So we close those doors off and don't go into that part of it. As even writing the book for me about trusting, there was this beautiful memory came up where as a child in school, this was in the kindergarten. I used to love um, collecting the glitter in the sand, the mica, we used to call it. And these are shimmering uh, mirror flakes, you know, minerals. And I would be doing that uh, for hours and collecting them in a small uh, uh, bag and be so mesmerized of some how big they were and how small they were, like, you know, and be looking into with all the glitter and the shine they would be spreading and I would be attracting all the kids around me to do the same as well. So that was something that uh, fascinated me like yes, uh, like a beach combing, I was sand combing in the playground. Yeah, and that definitely even till today like uh, ignites me. I find the joy and if you are near the sand uh, uh, in India, I would ask my children, hey, this is what I used to do and maybe let's go and hunt for it, you know. So it's something that's fun as well. But it is that exploration that you need to go into your past memories and bring it forward, bring it into the present times. Yeah. Maybe you can start journal, writing them down. Uh, that might go down into your memory lane, into your happy moments, and you're bringing more out. The more the joyful times we have, the lighter the energy around is. The better you feel, you're raising your vibrations, you're shifting your energies, you're not feeling stuck anymore. It, it gets easier in life to move forward. And just for today, trust yourself. And imagine if you're trusting yourself for today, you're releasing the past, 
and you're welcoming the future and nothing gets tougher for you. And trusting yourself is more natural than being a resistance. Like, you know, as a child, that this is what I always remind myself. As a baby, we trusted. As a young baby coming out of the mother's womb, we trusted. We are going to make it and uh, everything is going to be fine. And we came out into the light. Not knowing what's from the darkness to the light is going to be there. And now, why are we not trusting ourselves anymore? Back then, we trusted who our loving people were. We didn't even hold them tight. But when we were to the strangers, we were holding them tight. Didn't know if they are going to make us fall or um, they can hold us. But again, why did we forget to trust ourselves? There is that biggest thing of, I can't do this or some of my past decisions has gone wrong, so I'd rather not do them anymore. Maybe you, have, you would have invested in a particular place and all your money was gone and never again you would trust yourself. But hey, you learned your lesson and we are not going to do the same mistakes again. We are going to do better than that and that has taught us something. We are learning and moving forward. And that is how you bring back your grain. Um, you gain your own uh, trust with yourself to do this again. When you, when you start trusting, you are going to love everything around you as well. And that's the most important thing. Like, you know, and there is, there is so much of a beauty when you start trusting and living by it. So some of the things that has helped me over trusting are being grounded. Now, when I say grounded, definitely that always reminds me because it's a word that I learned in uh, Ireland in the schools for the children or in the crashes. They would say like, hey, being grounded is you're not a corner or you're punishing. But in the spirituality, the grounding is about anchoring yourself into the present moment, into the Mother Earth. So that is the grounding that I'm talking about here. When you ground, you're bringing your connection back into the present. You're having a clarity of thoughts and what you want to do, how you want to progress forward. So definitely that will be your first thing to trust. When you're hear, hearing those inner voices or the callings, stop, pay attention where it is coming from. Is the voice louder? Is it your own voice? Is it um, loving, caring, or is it um, harsh and uh, it's going towards limiting belief? So you are able to rationalize or differentiate between that voices and that will help you to lean towards trusting yourself. That's the most important thing. And you start listening to your body. Trusting yourself is also related to listening to your body because your body is always on the mission to tell you the truth, but we do ignore it. Now, remember the last time you had a food where you were feeling you should not and you felt sick or uh, where your body was saying, hey, this is enough. I don't want any more coffee, but you still had it and you felt so odd afterwards. You didn't have a sleep as well. So these are the things your body is constantly trying to tell you what it wants and needs and then we addressing or not is up to us how we are reacting to it. So just for today, trust your body. Just for today, feel anchored into your body and see what the miracles or the magic moments it's going to bring towards. And with your trust, also turn into your prayers. You may have the fear, but turn that fear into your prayers and ask for guidance from the angels, from the guides, uh, uh, from, from the universe, from the source, whichever word we want to uh, place it on, like, you know, pray. And again, listen to that. Listen to that. <clears throat> and listen to that voice uh, that is giving you the guidance. Sometimes uh, we do pray, we do ask, but actually, when is the last time you are hearing? When was the last time you stopped by and actually paid attention to hear those voices? Meditation could be something you can do. 
quietening your mind is what it does or some mindfulness activities. I focus on conscious breathing and that is my go-to to quieten my mind in a quicker way. So maybe something you can do that, you know, so you are shifting, changing your thought pattern and slowing it down so you are able to hear from that uh, rustic sounds to the clear voices and generally our trust, our intuition voices are subtle and softer, gentler with love. But it's our ego self, ourselves, the limiting beliefs, they are louder. And they keep repeating of what we can't do rather than what we can do. So try meditation. And I wouldn't say you to do for an hour every day. Definitely I do understand like, you know, it's a new habit for some of you and it might take time. But how about just start with five minutes and that might lead you to like 20 minutes or a bit bigger as well. Yeah, so definitely look towards it and raising your vibrations. When you have to trust, when you have to say yes to everything in your life, you definitely need to cleanse some of the no's, some of the things that are coming out that are allowing you not to move forward. So raising your vibrations, all you can simple thing is shake off that extra energy, maybe dance around, sing around, be playful, be creative, like, you know, bring lots of fun energy into your life or even pretend to be smiling. You don't need to do any big substantial changes, look around what's there, move things around, uh, make more space, uh, move through the clutter and see what is going to shift. Like, you know, clutter is something that causes a weighing down. So just change. And by that, you will see some shift of a guidance coming into your life. And by raising your vibrations, you're cleansing your energies and you'll feel lighter. When you feel lighter, less thoughts are there in your mind. And when less thoughts are there, you are going to hear the divine guidance more clearly as well. So do watch that out and write. Write any trusting, um, intuitive guidance that's coming down. Speak about it. Say it before it's happening. Uh, We have been training um, or teaching my youngest child, because she is feeling she can foresee things are happening. So we are asking her to speak about it before it's happening. So she is acknowledging where she can trust herself, like, you know. And so this has been amazing um, uh, to see in practical as well for a child. So definitely speak it out loud or tell a friend or a partner who will be supporting you. Now, that's the thing. Yeah, the reason I said supporting you Maybe some people may not understand the depth of it. Maybe not sharing with your soul tribe. Um, Maybe sharing with your soul tribe is actually beneficial rather than sharing with anyone else. Yeah, Be clear about it and uh, see what you can do about it. And also for um, uh, shifting your intuition, some of the things that worked for me is... uh, Uh, using the amethyst crystal on my third eye or while I do my chakra meditation or while I do my chakra meditation or Reiki healing. Me focusing on my third eye was helping me to awaken my gifts for intuition and that was helping me to trust the guidance is coming from that beautiful space Uh, and um, just relaxing, taking a deep breath, not panicking about things. And when we are relaxed, your whole body, your cells, your muscles, everything is so super relaxed that you're not uh, going to stop the flow or panic about the things, you know, and the flow is going to get so easier. And feel the fresh air on your face. That changes again like a change or a radar or a perspective as well. Like, you know, move away from the situation and uh, grab... um, Even drink some water and come back and see what you feel about it. So here are the few things to rewind you on. How you can just for today trust yourself by being grounded, listening to your body, prayers, meditation, uh, raising your vibration, cleansing the energies, writing them down and listening. And remember just for today, you're doing this. You're trusting yourself. And remember, you can do it. Because you have been trusting everyone else and uh, the same as your friends were trusting you, 
or your family members were trusting you um so now you are just trusting yourself so fantastic um i really wish you guys a uh, best and uh, and uh, look forward to hearing how you are trusting and making the choices and uh, if something has inspired and that has shifted for you please please do share with me i love to hear your stories and connect with you so thank you thank you so much for staying till the end listening to you and don't forget to subscribe like and share and leave a review i'm so grateful for your support so until two weeks uh, take care and uh, lots of love do watch out my youtube i'm placing a lot of uh, videos about energy works connecting to the angels and akashic records uh, so anything that might be inspired or guided meditations as well do check them out yeah so thank you thank you so much have a wonderful week day or wherever you are have a blissful time thank you thank you all for listening in and tuning in to the podcast life is magical i hope you found some good nuggets to move through this week want to ask a question please email me or stay connected if something resonated or found useful and helpful from this podcast i love to hear back from you my email is info@3manju.com that is s r i m a n j u which is in the show notes below until next week namaste and good day happy magic love to you all thank you for listening in